Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we will see how we can create two input fields inside a product, thanks to our GIF, WooCommerce, product add-ons and extra options. In particular, I will show you an example using a customizable t-shirt that we can edit both in the front and in the back of the t-shirt. But before we start, please make sure you hit the like button below this video, subscribe to our channel and click on the bell so you don't miss any of our videos. Now, let's start! Perfect guys, here I am inside the demo I used for the product add-ons video. I will be working with a product that will help me highlight the options I want to show you today. I already selected it and I opened it in a different window, so let's go have a look. Here we are, custom t-shirt. This product will help me show you how we can use the input fields. I want to create right here two input fields so the user can customize the text both for the front and for the back of the t-shirt. Also, I will set a limit to the amount of characters the user can enter in each field. Well, I believe we're ready to start, so let's begin by going over to our dashboard. And then from here, we want to go to our plugin. So we find GIF and we go to product add-ons. And now we are inside the plugin. Right here, we have some of the previous blocks we have created for the other videos. But today, we will be creating a new one. For that, let's go over here and click Add Block. I will give it a name. I will enter Custom Text. And now we can move on to start adding the options. For that, let's click here, Add Options. And we will get this pop-up with all of these options to choose from. Like I mentioned before, today I want to focus on this one, the input text. So I will select it and now we can start. First, with the title, this information will actually appear in the product page. So I will enter add your text. And now I move on to the first input field. In this one, I want the customer to enter the custom text for the front of the t-shirt. So for the label, I will name it front print. And for the tooltip, I will name it front print text. I will not add a description or an image. For the price, it will remain the same, so we can leave this option. Product price doesn't change. But I do want to enable these two options that we have here. The first one, required. I want to enable this, so it will be mandatory for the customer to complete this field. And the next one, limit input characters. I want to enable it to set a limit to the number of characters that can be entered for this field. So I will not set a minimum of characters, I only want to set a maximum. And let's have, for example, 10 characters as a maximum number. Now we have this field ready and we will do the same for the next field, but for the back of the t-shirt. So I can add a new option. And again, for label, in this case, back print and for tooltip, back print text. Again, no description or image, price remains the same, and I enable these two options. And for the limit, one more time, I set maximum number of characters, 10. Now we can just have a look to make sure everything is like we want to. It all looks good, so now I can save. And right here, we have the options we have just created. Add your text with the two options. Now, there is one last thing that we need to do. Right now, I want to associate this block of options with a product. For this, we can go now over to Rules. And in this first option, Show this block of options in, I will change from All Products to Specific Products in Categories. So I select this one, and right below, I will search for our product, which is Custom T-shirt, right here. I add it. Finally, from this option, show options to, I do want to leave all users. Now we can save and save once again our block. Okay, now we are ready to go back to the demo and see what happened. And we're back inside the product page. Right here, we can immediately see the two input fields we have created. We have our front print and our back print. 
If I hover over these options, I am also able to see the tooltip information. Now, let's try it out. Let me think of an example to enter here. I don't know, let's say Hakuna and Matata for the back. Right now, I was able to enter these two words because they are both under the limit of 10 characters that we have set inside the plugin. But let's say I wanted to enter the entire phrase only in one field. Let's see, Hakuna Matata. As you can see, there is a point where I am not able to write anything else. Now, let's try another thing. If I erase all the information I have entered, and now I try to add to cart, I click here, we get this message. Please fill out this field. This is because, if you recall, we enable the option required in the field. So let's see. Again, I enter the word, and once again, I try to add to cart. Right now, I will get the same message for the other field because we also enable the option for this one. So I have to enter the information in both fields in order to be able to add to cart. And I will actually do this part because there is one last thing that I want to show you, which is very interesting. So let me add to cart. And now let's go in view cart. And now we are in the cart page. If we see over here, we are only able to see the main product but we cannot see the details of the options we have entered to customize our t-shirt. But don't you worry, there is actually a new option we included in the new version of our plugin, Product Add-ons, to take care of this part. Let's go back for a moment to our plugin general settings. Here we are in the cart and order options inside our plugin general settings. And this one right here is the option I was telling you about. Show options in the cart page. All we need to do is enable it, so now all the details of the options will appear in the cart page. I will save options, so we can go back to the demo to see the difference. I have refreshed the page, and as you can see, none of the options we have customized for our product are visible as well in the cart. This is perfect to allow the customer to double check all the details they have entered before proceeding to checkout. Well guys, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye bye!